Next up, we've got Tim O'Dell, who's a Unison shop steward from Lambeth Libraries, where workers successfully used Section 44 of the Employment Rights Act as part of their argument to shut down uh, all 10 libraries and win workers being sent home with full pay. First of all, I just wanted to just say the announcement today, the three million workers put on the dole over this is an absolute catastrophe for for our class. And when you, and again, the thing, the Excel Centre, when they talk about opening up the Excel Centre for uh, emergency hospitals, I don't think we're getting this on the news, really. That's a one kilometre long with two mortuaries built into the Excel Centre. This, it's, what's happened in Italy is coming definitely to Britain. And we're all we're seeing is the profit being put before health. In my borough in Lambeth, we have the second highest rate of infection in the country. And yet in my sector, in libraries, uh, we were being told to keep libraries open. The government were refusing to make the decision to close libraries. Now, just in Lambeth alone, we have 1.4 million visits from the public every year. Uh, books are an absolute transmission vehicle for the virus, and yet we were, uh, they were refusing to close us down. Some of the things, you know, we're told that people are paid lots of money to make, because when times of high responsibility come, they have to make the decisions. I think Boris Johnson's shown himself to be completely useless in that sense, but that goes all the way down the chain. And we found that our directors and our uh, leaders were really re refusing to make any decisions to, to protect our uh, health and our safety. And the decisions that we were making to shut down our service wasn't just about our health, it was about the health of our community. And that's what I think I've seen very much in all of this uh, crisis that's been going on, the way in which ordinary people have really clubbed together to show that it's us that make the difference in society. So last Tuesday, um, we put an ultimatum to management. We had no hand gels, no protective equipment, no nothing. We were just expected to carry on as if uh, it was business as, as usual, was the term that they used. It should be business as usual. So we put an ultimatum to management that if they didn't close uh, the libraries down by Friday, Friday last week, that we would close them down and we would walk out. Uh, by Friday, we had no reply from them. So we used section 44 to say to the council that we didn't believe our workplaces to be safe and therefore we believe we had a right to walk off the job. We had no reply by six o'clock on Friday night and therefore we took a vote. Um, I actually proposed a mass meeting and people said that's probably not wise. Uh, so we did it by email and we had a unanimous vote to walk out. By 11 o'clock that night, the council had decided to close all of the libraries down, a complete victory. We're all now on full pay and the libraries are closed, protecting our communities. Um, two of the lessons, just quickly, in uh, two lessons I've got from it, and that is that we cannot at any point trust uh, our communities and our own safety to our bosses and to the government. We have to take it into our own hands, and that's what I think people on here are showing that workers are starting to do. And one member said to me when we walked out, we've fought for so long to keep our libraries open from government cuts. I can't bear closing it, but the only reason I accept closing our libraries is on the basis that when we come back, we come back to new conditions, to new priorities, to a world better than one that we left. And I think a lot of people are thinking that, and I hope that we're able to organise in our unions and our communities to deliver some of that for our class.